Hello everyone, I am reporting from Bulgaria. I am in a city called, um, what is the name of the city? Varna. I'm in Varna, Bulgaria. Just at the beach right now. Today was my little walk around, see the city day. Um, so far, I'm enjoying it, but I knew that I would because I already looked it up and I knew that the city that I was going to was near the beach and I love, love, love being near the beach I hope you can hear me very well because it's kind of windy out here but um, yeah it's very nice so far and um, I'm, I'm enjoying myself it's pretty good like I said today was a chill day I went and ate some food um, some fish and chips which actually that fish was absolutely disgusting it was so nasty like yeah ill the fries was good that lemonade, it was like lemonade, ginger, whatever. That was really good. I ended up getting two of those. But overall, I arrived safely. I got a little spot that looked completely different <laughs> than what I signed up for. Like online, it looked like a regular hotel, like a regular hotel room, like a regular size. But oh wow! But um, I got into that place. It was so small. I'm talking about you could barely turn around in there. In addition to that, I'm like facing the sun. Let me try to get in a different spot. But yeah, in addition to that, not only was it small, I was on the first floor, but the first floor, you actually had to get up five flights of stairs first before you get to the first floor. So I'm like, really? Seriously? So I Googled how to get there and I couldn't find the address. It took forever to actually pull up on maps. So I don't know if that's new construction or what, but that was so frustrating. I was getting upset all over again. I'm like, how do I find this freaking place? So I went back to the website to try to like find what the actual directions are on the map, you know. Anyways, long story short, I ended up finding the, the directions, the little cryptid directions that they had on there walked it was about a 40 minute walk y'all omg and no taxi well a taxi maybe but i didn't know where to find a taxi and i didn't want them to overcharge me because taxis are always more expensive but um i got uber and i got bolt bolt is like i guess like a a european uber type thing not really sure but in a lot of places uber doesn't work but bolt does 
So I looked up Volts and Ubers, nothing pulled up, nothing goes to that area. So that was extremely frustrating as well. So I'm like, okay, come on, man. Like, how do I get to this place? I do not want to walk 40 minutes, but that's what I ended up having to do. So now you see why walking up five more flights of stairs was just icing on the cake, but not a good cake. <laughs> so after 40 minutes of walking, I finally get to the, um, the place. It's a little bitty tiny sign that says, you know, the name of the place. And I, you know, of course that was hard to find. I finally find it, I finally get in there. But I will say, as soon as I got in there, I'm sweating, I'm tired, my feet hurt, and the AC is like blasting. And I am like, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I needed that AC. The AC felt so good. And I recently find out that there is a, um, like a little laundry mat inside of the place. It looks a little scary down there in the basement, but nevertheless, there's a like a washer and dryer down there. So that actually gave them a little bit more bonus points for me because I was definitely about to leave a not so great review. But now they're, they're working their way up and they're very responsive. So, hey, Boston Oh, this is cool, guys. This is a real like. This is a ship. Gotta be careful on this bad boy. This is the real ship that they used during the war. This is so awesome. I gotta be careful. Gotta watch my step. That's fine. I'll put my water bottle over there. Hopefully it's okay. This is so cool. This is like slanted too. I could go inside the ship, so I'm about to in a second. Okay, I ain't about to walk right there because, well. Oh, look, you can see in here. This is awesome, OMG. <laughs> look at this. This is cool, OMG. Okay, this is how we're gonna get down here. I'm about to hold my ship. I just came down these steps. So right here is, I'm not really sure what it is right here, but this is where some of them slept. This is a nice little sleeping quarter. It's pretty big. I guess that's their bed. You can't really see it that good, but we kind of got everything blocked off. So you can't really get to the other side of the ship from here. They had a lot of space in here. Look at this. Oh, look at these little holes. I mean, these little um, windows. You can actually still see out of them. Y'all, this ship is over 100 years old. It's like 110 years old. Hi, that's me. This is so cool. I like exploring old things. Wow, this is like, I think, a real book from then. Look, it's 1906. This is the coolest thing ever. OMG. They have a little chill area right here. Okay, ugh. This nasty broke got on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side. You definitely of this. can't be claustrophobic in here because it is hot and tight. So that other side was where you sleep at. Look, you can actually see through here too. Oh look, I can actually see people walking. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm sorry. Like I am super amazed at like old stuff and this is pretty freaking cool. I'm so amazed that you can actually still see through these windows after all these years. Okay, look, here's the history. Oh, look, there's doors right there. That's how they get out, I guess. This is the coolest thing ever. Okay, it's hot in here, I gotta go. I'm getting ready to leave this ship, but look guys, this is the coolest thing ever. 
it's just so cool this is a hundred year old ship more than a hundred year old ship look at my face y'all i am sweaty it is so hot in here you can't do stuff like this if you are claustrophobic because it's tight in here and it's really hot in here but um this is so amazing but i'm about to get out now because it's hot look at this omg this is like so cool look at me i'm the captain not really <laughs> hey guys today is another beautiful day near the beach and to my surprise all of these beach restaurants are really cheap like you can get a whole nice meal for like ten dollars and drinks alcoholic beverages like five dollars four dollars anyways let me put my little camera down because there's too many people around here. that I, I like to swim in but yes look at this y'all it's a beautiful day in Bulgaria hello so yes I'm gonna find me something to eat and I haven't eaten anything all day long and it's almost probably like five o'clock now but I'm glad I kept walking like further down the beach because I got to discover all these delicious restaurants I didn't see it first, so. Anyways. Okay, so fun fact. When there's no crosswalk, you go underground. <laughs> I was looking all over for the dang on crosswalk and lo and behold, I'm supposed to go underground to find it. So hey, you learn something new every day. I am on my way to get some ice cream. I saw this ice cream place the other day. The ice cream looks so good. So we'll see if it actually tastes good. So we gonna find out. Guys, I'm getting in a 100 year old elevator. Thank you. 